Every time I go out to DECs, I say to my DECs, and I talk to them about how they need to be organized and they need to be there. And I look at them and I say, "Why are you There are Republicans in the Democratic Party that work to our disadvantage. Do you understand that? No, okay. And I include her amongst them. Uh, I mean, why didn't somebody ask her about that? We asked her. When we walked in, that's the first thing we said. What's, what's this the deal? All about? What's the 3500 We got her in the corner and we said, what's this all about? I, I'd like to. And I didn't like her answer, but what am I going to say? Okay, yeah. That's what. The only thing that I got was. That She's making up some bullshit about the Port of Miami. Dave County. Dave County. No, no, no. Who writes the check? Al Cardenas. And that's only the tip of the iceberg. According to a, like a total, including that 42000 we have like 150000 a year. She's telling this other old lady over here that I talked to, a nice old lady uh, that asked her the same thing. Well, I got this lobbying firm making $200,000 a year, whatever. It's like playing with that. It's cheap. It's her own firm. The firm is cheap. Not her. It's the firm. Okay, well, where's your focus? Where's your focus? What she should have said is, I'll never say to I'm not going to have no. another word with her. We have a plan to take back the state house by 2010. John, how are you? Very good, Karen. Thanks. Uh, just uh, drove all the way down here to uh, just hear the side of the story on this Miami Herald. Oh, man. A lot of people that, that are very concerned about it. Okay. So, what do you want me to say? Well, I mean, if you work for Pepsi, can you honestly uh, do some consulting on the side? Well, well, I don't work for him. He signs your check, right? He uh, does, no. His check comes from the Miami-Dade County Commission who said, we need some Democrats. The paper said that you're working on a number of lobbying deals together. Miami Dade contracts that he has. They said to him, since the Congress has changed to be Democrats, that they want to have some Democrats representing them in Washington, D.C. My former staff person, Eric Gould, who worked as my counsel for the Ways and Means, who worked for the Clinton White House, is who I have my partners for. They did a contract with me to help Miami Dade be able to talk about sports security. That's it. The or ordinary person, and I've been that ordinary person, uh, I started out in your campaign in 2002, actually, okay, uh, prior to that, Al Gore. Walking the, walk the pavement, whether it's those people walking the pavement, getting people out to vote, or writing, writing a check in any amount. Sometimes it's a lot more painful if people write a check for $25 than it is for, than it is for somebody. I agree. I agree. And so the public is not really um, able to digest that that well. Uh, and quite frankly, neither am I. I mean, neither are, are, are a lot of people. Uh, the, the concern is, uh, you know, if there's only one party in Florida that 
money party, and you represent the Democratic side, and Al Cardenas is representing the Republican side, where do the ordinary people fit in? I mean, we only have so much time. Uh, John, excuse me. Let me, let me ask you this question. Do you think court and airport security is important? Yes, and it, I, well, I absolutely believe it's important. Okay. But here's here's what I would suggest, that if this were truly uh, an important issue to be working on, and working on it with the Republicans, would you have to take a check for it? Um, you know, John, it is a... You would know you what? not have made a public announcement, a public announcement that's saying, I'm going to be working with the Republicans on it, and, you know, in an effort to... Uh, you know, John, to be honest, I never thought it was, you know, I, I gotta tell you, I never thought about it. Maybe I should have. But the fact of the matter is, I didn't. I don't know how this story began. The fact of the matter is, I've been lobbying before I took this job. I made it very clear that I was going to be doing that. Well, the fact of the okay. matter is uh, that when we're talking about uh, receiving a check that in somehow is passing through a conduit that includes Al Cardenas, the architect of, you know, Republican dominance. He now has fallen out of, you know, has fallen out of the, uh, the grace of the Congress because of the fact that Democrats took over. Right. Do you know how many gay street people are hiring Democrats today? Oh, that, that's, that's great. But that's, yeah, that's, that's part exactly of the, right. So we're taking the, money away from Republicans. But that's, that's part of the money party insider game that leaves the people, you know, wondering where they fit in. John, you know what? You and I are never going to well, well, no, because people, people like myself, and the people that walk the pavement, they don't get paid to do what they do. So do I. But, but you're getting paid $100,000 a year. Yeah, and I, and I left a job or was well, was taken out choice, of a job though, right? of 150000 Right. No, and they came to me and they said, please, please provide a, 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 a leadership position in the Democratic Party, right? But Is that on? Huh? Is that on? I don't know. Well, I would, I would, if we're going to have a personal conversation, then I'm not going to talk to you if that's on. Actually, uh, yeah. Well, I think the people want to know. If you can't talk about it on the record, then John, I have no problem talking on the record, uh -huh. and I've made it very clear that I'm not, I'm not afraid of this issue. I think it is perfectly okay um, for me. Who but if you made it hard, no, John. No, wait a minute. I have always had a lobbying company on the side before I took this over, and I said when I took it over, there were people that knew that I was doing lobbying. I've always done that. Well, the point is, you, you, you stated that uh, you know when you took this job, you left a hundred fifty thousand dollars job, and you made a choice to provide. No, no, I didn't do that well, job. No. I was doing that job, and there. And if you ask my DNC members, they knew that I was doing some lobbying on the side. It has not taken look, John. It has not taken away from anything that I do. Okay. If I, I mean, you know, I get criticized when I criticize Bill Young. Well, you need to know. You, you have to know that there are times when I've come to St. Petersburg, people didn't show up because I criticized Bill Young as Democrats. And, you know, I mean, I'm doing the same job I did, whether I'm doing this or not. Well, I, I think there's people, when we, when we talk about, for example, the 2006 elections, um, people are, are concerned about, uh, you know, how well that went right. and, and what you've been saying. Well. well, it didn't go well. Yeah, it did, John. It, did, it did not go well. It, it, you can paint what you're talking about any way you want. But look at Glenn Clay. How many meetings did you have with Glenn Clay? John, you know what? You and I are just going to disagree. I'll tell you what. It is why I am doing these kinds of events so that I can have the money. Okay? The fact of the matter is how much money did Glenn raise? How much money did you raise? And how much money did, you, was your, did your son receive from the Florida Democrats? I told you this. My son raised $60,000. He received little or nothing. There was not one mail. I, you know what? Well, yes, he did. I have, the, I have the finance report right here. The finance report is 
this right here. He received 11000 from the oh in, in kind and 4000 in a check. And that's the finance report, and you just told me again John, after Citrus County. You know what? I'm, I'm sorry. You know what? Thank you very much. I'm trying to do Thank you very much. <laughs>